Before we get into this one, I just want to tell you guys that SeatGeek is sponsoring this video. Probably one of the best apps for buying tickets that I've ever seen. Now, the thing that makes this app so lit is the fact that it shows you which ones are bet are the best deals by showing it in green or if it's in red that means that it is not a good deal now obviously i have a discount code for you guys code prodigy make sure you guys use my code if you guys want to go to a heat game and watch my boy blocks out nobody's doing it with blocks now the last time i did one of these videos i did a kevin durant build now some of you guys didn't agree with me on a lot of different things now a lot of you guys didn't believe that he actually plays as good as i said he does so I'm going to show you guys another build that maybe some of you guys will like better. But for this one, this is a LeBron build. If you guys wait till the end, I'll show you the revamped Kevin Durant build. Maybe I'll make a full video for those of you who want to know more about that build. But yeah, let's get into this one. So just like the Kevin Durant build, I decided to do two different builds in this one. Nonsense. LeBron is the best player. Okay. Okay. All right, chill, chill. Now, obviously, we all know that LeBron is known for his passing abilities and his abilities to get to the paint. So that is the first build that I tried to do, and that's the one I like the best. But I know that a lot of you guys know LeBron for his shooting ability and his ability to get to the paint. So I kind of had to work with both. Now, let me tell you. Now, the one that I did, I think is very similar to the one that I'm going to show you guys up here. Now. Which one's better? I'm going to leave that for you guys to decide, but I think that the stats are similar enough to the point where it comes down to badges. Now, on LeBron number one, the layups are higher than LeBron number two, and note that I did upgrade LeBron number two another slot because he is an 87 overall, so the layups would be higher, probably about like two, so instead of it being 94, it would probably be like 96. The layup is better, but not by a whole lot. And the second one, dunks. Now, the dunk is higher here too, and I also upgraded dunk on the second time because, like I said, I upgraded. So, the dunk for this one would probably be 91, somewhere along those lines. So, dunk is better, but once again, not by a whole lot. Now, mid-range, very important to a lot of you guys. Now, this is where there is a pretty big difference. You guys can see that I think I upgraded the mid-range, but there's still a couple slots to go, and this one is obviously dusting it. So he'll be able to shoot a lot better with LeBron number one. Now, three-point shooting, you guys can see, very similar once again, but, this, but LeBron number one can go a little bit higher than LeBron number two can, and I think I already upgraded that once. So it'll be a little bit better three-point shooter, but probably like at most like, a 68 overall uh, three-point shooter not the greatest but I know a lot of you guys can still make that shot anyway so keep that in mind now LeBron number two is a power forward LeBron number one is a small forward so the reason why this is important to me is because as a power forward the better ball handling you have the better it is just to play pro in general because you can take the ball of court too so it's pretty good that there are similar ball handling even though he is kind of like a big man now these badges for those of you who care about these just pause on them i'll give you guys plenty of time to look at them but these don't really matter that much to me besides i guess rebounding because like i said i had to be power forward this year um but blocks everything else i'm not sure how much that really matters all i know is that 2k calls a foul on everything and that'll be in another video i definitely have a rare for 2k this year just like i did last year of what they should do for 2k19 but i think it's a little early so i'm gonna save that one um so yeah if you guys care about you know these parts just pause on them but here is what i think is the most important for you guys to decipher which one of these you want to do now on lebron number one lob city finisher and acrobat are key badges and on lebron number two pick and roller and put back king are, ki are key badges now you can see put back king is a secondary badge here but also you can see that we have dimer and uh hustle rebounder which i think is on the other one as well now uh difficult shots is not on lebron number two there's a lot of different badges that you guys can see once again pause if you guys want to make your own uh decipherings of it but i ended up picking lebron number two that's just because i wanted to be a power forward lebron number one seems like he's really good too especially if you get all of his badges let me know what you guys think in the comments 
But for those of you guys who are actual subscribers and have been subscribers for a long time, I'm not gonna just go around it. Let's talk about it. I haven't uploaded in forever, I know. Uh, definitely let a lot of you guys down. I've got a lot of Twitter messages that have told me to keep uploading. And I'm just gonna say right now, it's not because of 2K that I'm not uploading. I mean, as much as I really, really do not like this game sometimes, I still play it. But um, I just personally have not had the encouragement to keep uploading these videos. I'm gonna be honest with you. And it has nothing to do with you guys because you guys definitely show me a lot of support every time that I upload videos. But I think that I'm at the point that I definitely want to start going again and I definitely want to do it seriously for once. Um, now, obviously, I'm not going to go too much into detail, but just know I'm fine now. I'm good. And we're definitely going to try to keep uploading these videos. I know you guys want to see Park. For those of you who do, I mean, I did. I uploaded a Park video before and, you know, it's just saying, like, you guys didn't really watch that that much, but... I mean, I know 2K is getting really boring, but I definitely will bring you guys some entertainment. I'm going to do uh, these videos. I mean, I have a lot of kind of different videos that I want to bring to you guys. I'm not sure how you guys are going to take those, but we'll see. I I like taking risks on my channel, so it is what it is. Um, so if you guys see something different, make sure you guys show support on it. If you guys want to, me to keep on doing stuff like that. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, give me some ideas of what you guys want to see from me in the comments. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Uh, that means that you guys actually cared about where I was and, you know, you probably have been watching me for a while or maybe recently just wondering where I went. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to turn this into too long, but, um, maybe we'll even start streaming again. Who knows? But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys want me to do in, uh, the comments and, I'm definitely going to have a video out tomorrow. I know I, last time I said, give me a while. And nah, I'm, I'm going to make this next video right now. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.